hey welcome once again to my youtube video if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video now you can see we are at 581 subscribers so let us reach the 600 subscriber marks and i will appreciate it now in this video i'm going to talk about uh integrating tiny pesa uh, integrating bank payment using tiny pesa this is where you will able to receive bank payment by the help of tiny pesa on your website so if for instance if your user a user comes to shop in your e-commerce website or anything or anything where you want to receive payment he can pay with mpesa sdk then the money will be sent directly will be deposited directly into your bank account now before we start this is how you set up the tiny pesa account in order to receive bank payment when your user pays now you can come here let me click back because i was using it to test mm, let it to load now when you sign in here when you want to create sorry when you want to create an account let me uh, write here like bank then bank pay PayPal. let me say like that bank paper now this is what it happened when you enter your email let me enter i don't know which email i've not registered with let me use this here let me write here something here now when you write the description and um, let me upload one one of my images the next here when you've created an account don't choose till choose bank account where you can enter your bank account that you want the money to be deposited to be deposited in now i'm not going to finish this process of creating an account you will just proceed when you have an account uh, when, when you want to create an account for me i'll log into then an existing account where i have linked it to, to, to my bank so that you can see the view how it appears now let me log into it uh -huh. this is the account which i've linked with bank this here then i'm going to write email and they will send me an email immediately yeah, they sent me an email already let me come back here this is the link to access my admin account now let's wait let's wait now here you can see i already created an account where i've linked with my cooperative bank this is my account number for my cooperative bank account number which i want to receive payment immediately somebody sends money to my account now let's go uh the the code i have updated the new tiny pesa code uh for sdk where you this is this is the same code that we are going to use to register the tiny pesa we are just going to do some new changes where we i'll show you on how just clone this uh this repository then uh, you can run it on your local machine if you know how to set it you can check my video where i set up i set the code uh, where i developed the code of building these sdk pushes in tiny person now let's let's now go into our code i've already cloned it and this is where here now this when you clone it will have something like this now what you need to do you need to replace your api key then the phone number where which you want it to pay then uh, you will get an sdk push then i will show you on how where the transaction and how the transaction will appear when someone pays now let's first go into my account my tiny pesa account where it is here my tiny pesa account sorry this is my tiny pesa account i will go here to developers where i will get my api key you can see this is the bank account name and the bank account number i will get this api key not uh, not this account api key i'm get i want to get this api key now let me come here then uh, add here the account api and uh, not the account the api key this is where i'm going to place it then i'm going to put here my, my phone number the seven sixty eight one sixty eight zero sixty now let me now i want to set uh, here 
this is where uh, this is after you've set your number then this is the account number where i've used it as a demo you can set it is optional to set it but you can set it in order to differentiate the types of payment you want then this is hera handling uh, now let's go into uh, into our browser where we can view this is the folder where i've hosted it you can come here i have read i had already tested it now let me come here this is the folder where it is then you can click here the tiny pesa.php which is the same as this where you can just click it here then uh, on our phone you in here you will receive tiny pesa transaction initialized successfully then here you will get uh, a request successful with a transaction id of this now we can see here in our i've placed here a phone recording where it say do you want to pay uh cash one one to tiny pesa account with the account number which is my bank account number now you enter my pin i will enter my pin let me enter my pin then uh, that way uh, we will wait for the transaction to be processed now this is here i've received the payment successful now i want uh, what i want to do because i've received the payment successful i want to get the actual data i will use the tutorial which uh, the the link which uh, this link here this link which I used to collect payment in my previous tutorial so that we can I can get the exact data everything and here let me let us first view the Mpesa messages this is the Mpesa messages of the Mpesa messages that I've received you can see there's a difference I have received an Mpesa message which is here you can see let me put it in the screen here on this side you can see i have received this mpesa message here you can see confirm we have sent one one shillings to cooperative with the account number this and at the same time uh, at the same time i have also received an an message from the bank which states that Dear Alvin Kiveo, you have sent one shilling to Alvin Odari Kiveo with the account number that on this date. Yeah, now you can see it has sent directly to my account. Now we want to get the data. You can remember in the previous tutorial, this is where we used uh, I used it to test it on how you can get the data of M-Pesa, uh, the transaction, how you can get the transaction. Now I want to update the callback URL of our bank so that we can also get here the same exact payment that we received uh, we want to get the data the phone number that i've paid and then the amount now let me enter into my i will place this i'll place this here mm, this is where i'm hosting my oh my tiny pesa my tiny pesa account now this is where it is the, the same file that you're viewing here this is the same this is the same one which is hosted here on the api then tiny pesa you can see this is the uh, this is the same file the index.php is this file which you can see here now i want this callback url the same callback url i want it to add it the same one as the as the one that i was using in my previous tutorial so let me do this callback copy that then login into my tiny pesa which is here this one i'm going to update the web hook here slash this then take the short link which is this so that it's here and let me update it here so this this is what we are going to use as our callback url then uh, let me click this and so that it can be here then i'll update this is why i want to receive every successful transaction you can see here the webhook has been updated successful now i will receive it on the same so so that i can get the data here the same data now i'm going to test it 
at one last time so that uh, we can see the data that which if if the data has been sent you can see when I reload here the latest transaction is for one mm -hmm. here now let me come and reload this and then complete the payment and see if we'll receive the data here now now here once again let me pay the one sh no no to, today let me not use that I want to test with a different amount let me pay like five shillings let me pay just five shillings so that we can get different data from there let me reload so that I can receive a new request uh, now there is the request let me enter my pin and uh, let me ready send now let me come here to this then reload you can see i have received the payment five shilling transaction and now let me show you now that's you can see yes that's the cooperative bank message cooperative bank that i've paid to i have paid to to cooperative they have sent to my the account number which is mine then here you have downside uh, here down you can see i have sent uh i have sent to that amount to cooperative bank with that with an account number of that zero one which is the same that which is in my tiny pesa let me i'll share the screenshot here so that you can see that's how you receive bank payments by the help of tiny pesa from your website so see you in my next video where i'm going to integrate on how you can use it on an e-commerce with the tiny pesa but i'm uh, i'm going to show you on how you can integrate tiny pesa on a real website now see you in my next video